A large sea snail, white abalone is one of eight abalone species in Southern California. With their fleshy, muscular foot, they attach to low-relief rocky areas. The sand channels in between rocks may be important in funneling their food source, kelp. White abalone are important to the health of the rocky reef ecosystem, keeping competitors that also eat kelp from ravaging underwater forests. Even though all abalone fishing in Southern California has been closed since 1997 due to overharvesting and other threats, white abalone has been unable to recover and is nearing extinction. White abalone have declined dramatically in the wild since the 1970s. Today, we're seeing declines by over 80% in a population we've been monitoring since the early 2000s. We're very concerned about these declines and we need to do something right now to turn the situation around. The top threat to white abalone today is the fact that there are too few of them left in the wild to reproduce successfully. White abalone don't move much over the ocean floor, so if males and females aren't close enough to one another, reproduction can't happen. So we're trying to fix that by making more of them. We have had increasing success since 2012 in spawning white abalone in captivity and boosting their numbers such that now we have thousands of white abalone in captivity. We're trying to figure out more about where we should put them and when and whether there are particular predators that are really mowing down our abalone when we put them out into the wild. So we're trying to figure all of that out. We're concerned about a disease that can be potentially fatal in white abalone known as withering syndrome. It's caused by a bacteria that occurs everywhere in the wild. We need to understand how this disease works in nature so that we don't put these healthy white abalone out into the wild just to have them get sick. Also, we're concerned about illegal poaching or illegal take of white abalone in the wild in the last decade or so. We hope to work with our enforcement partners at the state, um, internationally, and also within NOAA to help alleviate this problem through outreach and education programs. A lot of people ask me what it is they can do to help the White Abalone Recovery Program, and two things come to mind immediately. If you see anyone poaching, please call Caltip. Also, you can support sustainable fisheries and aquaculture. These are great ways to support the health of kelp forest ecosystems in general. If we can recover white abalone, chances are we'll be successful at recovering all the species of abalone, and we'll be getting ever closer to enjoying the economic, cultural, and biological benefits that this iconic group of species has to offer. Survival of California white abalone is dependent on potential mates being close enough to one another so they can reproduce. It's reached a point where recovery is unlikely without intervention by the many partners involved in protecting, restoring, and conserving them in hopes that one day they'll thrive again in the nutrient-rich waters of the Pacific Ocean.